assembly of a bike components required one medium plate two small c bar two small l bar two small bar 260t gear 236t gear four tiny l bar one caster strip one caster strip along with caster wheel two dc motor three wheels and three medium shaft take one medium plate and four tiny l bars attach the tiny l bars to the medium plate in this way on each side and place the board in this direction adjust the tiny end bars on each corner of the medium plate here 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 and here after connecting the tiny end bars on each side of the metal plate now take two small bars and connect the small bars in this way on each side After connecting the small bar on both the sides, now take the shaft, place the shaft in this side and fix the other side with an axle lock. Now place the wheel on the other side and take another axle lock and fix the wheel. Now take a small C bar, connect the small C bar to the medium plate in this way. Connect it on the fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. Place the two holes of the C bar. These two holes on the first two holes of the medium plate in this way, and fix it using nut and bolts. Now, after connecting the C bar, we will take a DC motor. Place the DC motor in this way. The two holes of the DC motor should be here on these two holes and the shaft should be on the third one. And fix it using the box. After connecting a DC motor, now take a 36T gear and fix it using an axle lock. Now take a gear, place it above the Place it on the C bar in this way such that it is connected to the 36T gear. Now take a shaft and put it through the hole. It, the shaft enters through the first hole of the C bar. Then fix this shaft using an axle lock. Now take 5 spacers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Take a caster strip and a shaft locker. Place the shaft locker in this way and fix it using nut and bolts. Connect this caster strip along with the shaft locker to the shaft in this way. And take an axle lock and fix it. Now take two small L bar. Connect the L bar to the caster strip in this way and fix it using nut and bolt. Similarly, connect the other L bar in this way. Now take a DC motor. We have to connect the DC motor to the small L bar. Connect the DC motor on the fifth hole of the L bar. The shaft of the DC motor should be on the fifth hole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And fix it using ports. After connecting the DC motor, now take a 3060 gear, attach the gear to the shaft of the motor. and fix it using an axle lock. Now take a 60T gear in this way 
and we have to place a shaft through this gear. Put the shaft on the first row of this airbag and place the 60T gear. Now put the wheel next to the gear and insert the shaft to the other hole of the elbow and fix each side using axle lock we have, we have to put one axle lock on the wheel also put one axle lock here and then Push the shaft to the other one. Fix the other two end of the shaft moving the axle. The assembly of the bike is completed. Output of the bike. First of all, open the junior board app. Click on Get Started, select JB1 V2 and then select your board as bike. Now go to the connection diagram. As you can see, the front motor is connected to M1 and the second motor is connected to M4. Now go, go, to, go back and click on Next. Now click on Connect to Bluetooth and connect to HC05. It's showing connected. That means our controller is connected to our phone. Now if I press this arrow keys our board will move forward and backward and when I press the left and right key the front part will move left and right as I press backward my board moves backward as I press forward my, my board moves forward and I press left it moves left and I press left it moves left thank you